This is Aaron Brookers and today I have this Lego clock to show you guys and before I continue with this video this is not the real time because this is right, right now it's 6 11 now it's 10 10 now it's 12 51 now it's 7.47 and it just loops around so yeah if you want to make um, a lego clock that actually works it's gonna be quite a challenge I'm just telling you guys that right now because I tried but if you do have if you have the knowledge to do it, maybe you can, or you can, obviously, if you have the knowledge. Uh, I don't have any idea how a clock works, so I never destroy a clock, So and I don't know how it works, so yeah, that's why I couldn't make an actual clock. So, let's get inside the machine. So, I've just taken off the roof this thing right here and I'm gonna show you what's doing all of this it's kind of hard to record and make this actually gonna tear one of the walls apart and camera so you guys can see it okay this is a good enough position So we have an axle going through a hole with brick. No, not not hole with brick. Brick with hole. Yeah, brick with hole. And that's the crank, and that's the A2 gear. And then we have a 40 tooth gear. And I put it the A2 gear here, so I can reduce the speed of the clock. And when I put a motor, when I did put a motor onto this, it's, it went like, it went super fast. So I had to hand crank it. And, and then we have an axle going through this, these two, and into these hold bricks. And that's how this works. And you can see some pink in there because we used or I used um, pink and that for the interior and it's really delicate and I do not want to like fix it because if I do I'm gonna break it and I don't want to fix stuff right now so put this all back if I can um, so that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this video on this Lego clock 